Hey, what's going on, guys? Kalamazi here. It's going to be my Destruction Warlock, patch 11.0.5. Destruction Warlock uh, feedback video. And then we're going to hit on both hero talent trees, uh, one and two, as well as the spec tree. Maybe a little bit of tuning stuff, some thematic stuff, talent-wise, combinations, rotational stuff, and uh, all that. And hope some changes coming in, maybe for patch 11.0.7 or patch 11.0.5. One. If you guys have any weak wars or add ons, you see it in this video. Links to Twitch, Discord, and the website down below, as well as up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, let's get it going. Also, real fast, we're getting too far into the video here. Uh, this expansion, and over the next year or so, we're going to be making a big push for 100,000 subs on YouTube. The fact that I'm at 85,000 roughly around there uh, in general is utterly insane to me. It blows my mind. Uh, I never thought I'd be anywhere near around that. Maybe a few thousand, I can pay for groceries once a month with it. So I owe it all to y'all. Thank you all so much for all the support. I did want to bring up though briefly that about 50% of y'all that watch the videos, which I'm incredibly grateful for, are not subbed to the channel. So if you do feel like subbing, maybe, you know, love me enough to consider doing that. Uh, well, maybe possibly consider doing so and hitting the bell down below while you're at it and uh, help Kala achieve one of his lifelong goals. Now, let's get into the video. All right, now getting into Destruction Warlock feedback or patch 1105, I guess 11.1, depending on how you want to look at it and stuff. Um, there's a couple things I want to hit on. Now, for Diabolist and Hellcaller here, Hellcaller was buffed a week ago or so, whether it was buffed, uh, it is seeing some bit of play in plus. Feels good. I've always liked Hellcaller. Everybody has a thing for the most part. It's like mini Dark Soul. Right, feels pretty good. Uh, I do want to hit on one talent in the Diabolus tree here. Uh, I think for the most part, Diabolus is very cool. I guess two technically. Hit on this in the demo video as well. Um, if a mob dies when you're casting Ruination on it, if the cast finishes but the mob dies between the time the meteor like, lands animation wise and spawns things, it won't deal damage and it won't spawn imps. So that'd be an awesome fix to like still have that happen if the mob dies and you're doing that. Um, it makes it awkward at times. You know, trying to hold it for the next pack. If you're waiting out of combat, you lose the proc. It's very odd. Um, hopefully that's fixed at some point. The other thing here for the Diabolus tree is Gloom of Nathreza. So this talent is just dead in single target. This is a, a hero talent tree that has no talent here at all if you're in single target. And Destro is our best single target spec now, arguably. But I mean, you know, this is literally a tree. Take, take your finger and put it over that circle, that, that node. There is no talent there in single target. Nothing. This is purely a cleave based talent. Now, if Diabolus is, or Diabolus, however you will say it at this point, I don't even care, is tuned around this being a cleave only based talent in single target, I guess so be it. But it seems odd not having any kind of like single target clause to Gloom of Nathreza. It's enemies marked by your Havoc take more damage. You're not casting Havoc in single target. They should either probably overhaul this or just add a add a single target clause to it as well so it's good in both settings right maybe not double dipping in value but somewhere where it's good in single target and then good and then like fine and havocly but at this point there's just literally no value in this node it's just a dead node in the diabolist tree so there's that a caller is fine for the most part it's fun to play uh so when it comes to destro stuff here i'm gonna be honest like i like i like playing destro right now which is crazy to say it still gets old to me after a little while, but I like playing Kata. I mean, if you're in M plus, you're playing like the Kata CDF build or yeah, Kata CDF stuff. You're playing Kata basically everywhere. But it feels pretty good to play. There's variation variations of build here. Most are playing Ash at this point, but it feels good to play. Soul burn or Soul Fire feels good. The procs you get at you know, times it, they can chain back to back and feels really strong. I will say that there are a couple nodes I want to hit on though in the actual tree here uh so this is going to be a single target build but you know we'll hit on everything here the first one is just havoc i feel like the duration could be longer on havoc so in dragonflight we had a talent blow that's called pandemonium which i believe gave you a three or four second duration increase to havoc and havoc's baseline duration was 12 seconds like it is now but it made i think it made it 15 or 16. um it could have seen me feeling like feeling like havoc's a little shorter because pandemonium was gone but it feels like at times I'm just not getting a whole lot of value out of it. Maybe it's used to like old times past, but you could just bake pandemonium into baseline havoc and probably be fine. Um, I think the bigger issue though sort of lies in rolling havoc. So traits like rolling havoc, flashpoint, I'll hit on both here, used to be two point talent nodes. They were reduced to one in Woolworthin. Some two point nodes that went to one kept their two point values. Some were reduced to one, or they were cut in half, like because they reduced the, the Thing from two to one ha rolling havoc flashpoint and burned ashes albeit burn is fine ish um they had their one point value put into that rank one talent this used to be two percent per stack um up to five dragonflight this used to be i think this i think this was four 
think it was 4, 8, 12, I'm pretty sure, uh, not 2, 4, 6 in Dragonflight. At rank 1, giving 1% uh, increased damage for six seconds uh, especially with like no uh, pandemonium being around and shorter havocs no one's even taking this in heavy cleave settings nobody plays this it's just not good enough i think making this two percent up from one would be more than fine it'd be taken again in cleave settings and it would give desher that good like rolling havoc just general cleave profile that it had for a long time with havoc right to a similar extent flashpoint being two four and six just feels pretty ugh, honestly four eight and twelve felt better two four and six feels pretty mid no one's even playing Flashpoint and M plush builds because, I mean, you're playing Hellcaller, which gets you that through like uh, these procs here. But even in general, before Hellcaller, nobody was really playing this in plus builds somewhere. But like, it just, it feels sort of, it just feels subpar at 2% for a rank one talent. A good compromise could be 3, 6, and 9. Uh, 4, 8, 12 might be a bit much with rank one. It, maybe it's not, but I think a good compromise would at least be 3, 6, 9. You know, uh, I'm just going from there. So, that's that. Maybe look at those a little bit here and there. Fire and Brimstone seeing play finally in plus, which is very cool. I like that. It's playing, seeing some play in this in the Shadow Burn build, which I think is right here, give or take. Yeah, um, barring the talents being different, you know, and all of that, which is very nice. Cool to see finally. Um, so when it comes to Shadow Burn and Shadow Burn, Blistering and Fiendish, I am a fan of Shadow Burn's play style right now. I hope it stays the way that it is. Mobility is very strong and all that. I'm not sure if it was intended Shadowburn to be as strong as it is. Maybe they did. If that's okay, great. Cool. It's seeing play. If it gets changed, I think Destro needs mobility again because Shadowburn, I mean, Destro was seeing play as our single targets back in the raid because it's so mobile, this raid. You need mobility, even though it was our lowest simming single target spec. Now it's our highest and it's still seeing play, obviously, but I mean, Shadowburn gives that mobility plus execute a lot of cleave value. It feels really good to hit. If Blizz is going to come in and tune Shadowburn, nerf it, hope they don't, leave it where it's at. But if they do, we really got to consider adding more mobility to Destro or really just in general to Clash Tree, which I hit on a week ago. But just, you know, wanted to point that out. Now, speaking of Shadowburn, a very good change, something that needs to happen, especially if it stays this way, just in general too, you need to add Shadowburn to Crashing Chaos. So, Crashing Chaos sims higher than Random Chaos now. Uh, from what I understand, it's like 15k, 18k, depending on your build and all that stuff. Uh, from what I understand, even lose, even like if you only use six of your eight, like Crashing Chaos stacks before they all expire, like by casting Chaos Bolts, it's still stronger the reign of chaos in sims in actuality yeah it could be a little different likely is but either way there's a it feels awkward on fighting with the answer wreck first in general like you want to cast shadow burn the move and things spending shards doing that but you know you're pulling away from crashing chaos even if you miss out on two stacks and you're still gaining value over reign of chaos it feels awkward you're not completing, like, you're not getting all the value out of your cooldowns, which what you're specced into over in Chaos and all that. Adding Shadowburn to Crashing Chaos would solve a, I mean, it'd solve a lot of issues, right? I mean, Shadowburn hits hard, but it's not hitting, like, crazy. It's not hitting harder than Chaos Bolt at this point. They're relatively close, but you'd be able to consume all the stacks of Crashing Chaos much easier. Also, when you're on the move, Crashing Chaos promotes a bit more of a stationary kind of gameplay with casting eight Chaos Bolts on certain fights like Queen Anshirek. Uh, good luck. Uh, that, that's a wild ride. Adding Shadow Burn to Crash and Chaos just in general feels right too. You have Chaos Bolt, you have Rain of Fire in here, both of your, you know, shard consuming spells. Why not add Shadow Burn? It's seeing play, it's been buffed, it's good. It should be part of Crash and Chaos. So hopefully it's added in the next patch. We'll see where it goes, but that's a big thing we want to hit on because I think quality life wise, that would go a very long way for destruction. Now, as far as bottom caps on here are concerned, Soulfire is fun. I like it. These are fun. I mean, that should probably just be baseline, but it's whatever. Um, you could make this maybe like, I don't know. I feel like at times, Chaos Bolt's cast time is a little long, but it is what it is. I wouldn't mind this being 100% again. 70 just feels awkward with that weird, like, you know, middle round of it, but there's that. Overlord's fine, whatever his name is. It's fine, fine. Um, I think the last bit of feedback I want to hit on lies in this part of the tree over here with, with dimensional rifts. I like rifts, they're cool. They actually don't sim too bad from what I've heard compared to like Chaos Incarnate, from what I've heard. I haven't seen them myself, but I feel like there's a lot of value in like a lot of like thematic value, thematic potential in rifts that's not really being utilized fully. Flame Rift was cool. Very cool. The fact that it's not part of this tree is very sad. Flame Rift was a thing in the tree for a while. It was removed. If you take Flame Rift and make Flame Rift the capstone and take this and just make Unstable Rifts part of Rifts in general, I think it'd be fine. 
I mean, having Rift Cleave, like taking this, the bolts from Rift Cleave, basically, and just putting it into Rifts in general as like a passive baseline ability would be fine. It almost feels like it's not even good enough to be a capstone, like making them cleave, because the damage is not incredibly high in the first place on these. But if you take this and put it into rifts, and then make the fire rift your capstone, that would beef these points up a crazy amount. It'd be, I mean, flame rift is sick. Maybe you add a clause to it, like every third rift you cast is a guaranteed flame rift. That'd be super cool. Rifts would cleave, you play it in plus. This could be the mobility, more extra whatever you're looking for, depending how it pans out, that you're looking for in destruction. To a similar extent, I think this should be Immolate. It was, uh, it does not work with Fire and Brimstone, like giving you more proc chances of this, unless they changed it recently, I don't think so. This was basically our tier set in, I think, Season 3 of Dragonflight, but it was Immolate, not Incinerate. You're paying, I mean, it could be Wither or Immolate now, but you're playing Cataclysm anyways now, and you go into a pack, put down a couple, you know, random fires at the start maybe but really you'd open on cataclysm have it apply immolates withers and you would cast some rifts and it was a chance for dimension ramper to give you more stacks of rift back which also cleave because that was part of your bonus in s3 and you could use rifts as a good cleave element and apply all those withers apply all those immolates passively and it felt really good so having that back making this immolate take this just bake this in the rifts in general and make this flame rift. Something along those lines. Would rifts have so much thematic potential? They're super cool. We even had space time legendary back for a while, or if you had a rift active, you did more damage. That was cool too. There's a lot of potential there, but I feel like we landed on a version of rifts that maybe just weren't fully fleshed out and have been sort of like left here until a later patch. Maybe would love more attention there. Very, very cool. I love rifts, but you know, I haven't had just play them sort of eh, at this point so besides that honestly i mean i think the tree flows pretty well with infernal connecting to these as well now and stuff that would change later in beta we'll see where shadow burn lands all that um cdf cata wither stuff feels great malevolence feels great also it's maybe dark soul you know destro feels good the tree solid i think overall we'll see where it lands but these are the big points i want to hit on for 1107 or 11.1 so thanks for watching guys wraps it up hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys share some feelings as to how i do with the current state of warlock and you know i guess all that stuff uh feedback wise now we've gotten with patch 11.0.5 and 11.0.7 it's on ptr hopefully in a month or so 11.1 and uh before you know it man we're going to be in another raid uh especially in a, it, it's going to be pretty insane so i'm excited but uh hopefully you guys agree with these points if you have any feedback you want to put in the uh, comment section down below feel free to do so i'll read through it if it's relevant i I agree with it which you know y'all have some pretty good ideas sometimes i'll toss it in the uh feedback doc whenever we make it for patch 11.1 if you guys like any weaker wars add-ons or profiles on the video links to twitch discord the website down below are up here as well if you want them all for free and at the same time like always a massive shout out to my patrons for all supporting on patreon thank y'all a million times like always i greatly appreciate it uh if you look at supporting on patreon there's also be a link up here you know as well as down below now i venture to guess i don't think they've put out the date for patch 1107 at this point maybe there's some rumors that there's somewhere some date has to be out by i'm not sure but like i said i would guess that within a month and a half or so we're probably in patch 11.1 on ptr my guild's working on mythic antrek now should be dead in a couple weeks <sighs> at the max i'm excited to kill it i'm excited for ptr and honestly i'm excited to see what happens to warlock because you know there's some pretty solid things i, I enjoy lock a lot now playstyle wise but i think things could be even better so uh We'll see where it goes. Wishful thinking, all that, and uh, hopefully it comes. Hopefully it comes true. So, thanks for watching, guys. Much love. If you like the video, hit the like and sub buttons below. Helps out a ton. And I'll catch you all again soon on stream. Peace.